Air Navigator and today I'm going to show you how to chart implied volatility for a stock. Um, so first things first we're going to go into their interactive brokers trading platform and here we are. Uh, this is a real live account. This is our portfolio. You can see all of our positions on here at the moment. So we're just going to click on the on the chart function here and we're going to bring up a chart that's properly sized for the screen. So you can see here we've very basic information here at the moment. So we have, you can set up your charts in this first of all to open a predetermined chart template. Um, so we have one here called Stephen's chart and we're going to load that. And you can see we have a lot of information here. Up in the top window here we've got the stock price, a lot of moving averages. Um, We've got volume, stochastics, and MACD. So we're going to add another one at the moment. So the way to do that is just go up to edit, click on chart parameters. So we're going to bring that in here, chart parameters, and you'll see halfway down in there, additional data and features. You'll see option employed volatility. That's not ticked. So we're going to tick on that and click on apply and then OK. And you can see all of a sudden here now we've got employed volatility here. So a great one to show you would be Bed Bath & Beyond. Last night they reported their earnings. The markets are closed when I'm doing this particular video. But I want to show you what the volatility looked like for Bed Bath & Beyond just before earnings. So here we are. You can see it normally trades between 20, you know, somewhere along 15 to 20% here. But, you know, in the, the last two weeks or so, um, option employed volatility spiked. So that's really useful information for you if you're trading options and the reason is you want to be selling premium when employed volatility is high because when employed volatility is high option premiums are higher and option premiums and employed volatility get higher coming around a certain event like an earnings event which Bed Bath & Beyond had last night but what you're going to see now today when Bed Bath & Beyond opens and over the next two or three days that employed volatility will drop substantially so if you think about it, if you've been selling premium, you're going to benefit from that drop in volatility. On the flip side, if you see a stock which has low employed volatility, sometimes it can be good to be doing debit spreads then. Because when you do debit spreads, that's when you're actually paying up front for the particular trade. You're looking for a spike in employed volatility and that increases the option premiums. So. This is a really useful tool for those of you who are doing credit spreads, debit spreads in the options market. My name is Stephen Cox. This is Share Navigator. If you'd like to avail of a free trial of our service, if you're watching this and you're not a member, just click on the register function on our website, sharenavigator.com, and you can get a week's free trial and follow our trades. Thank you. Bye for now.